Good day to all my fellow royal fans. Today's headline. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle went public as a couple in late 2016. The pair has since married and have two children together. However, some onlookers are not very confident in their marriage. In fact, a royal biographer claims that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's marriage is a disaster because the two of them wind each other up. In the past few years, Harry has been involved in numerous legal battles with the media. The Prince has accused some news outlets of publishing false information about him and defaming his image. According to royal biographer Tina Brown, Harry's lawsuits say a lot about his marriage with Meghan. Harry decided to absolutely not capital to any dialogue with the press who believes killed his mother, ruined his life and ruined Meghan's life, Brown said. That's his view and he's not entirely wrong. Brown continued, but doing battle with the British media is a lost cause and unfortunately Meghan is, a, is combative about it. William and Kate calm each other down a lot. Their marriage works very well in that way. In the Sussex marriage, they wind each other up and it's us against the world and that is a disaster. However, other royal experts have a different view of the Sussex's relationship. According to author Tom Quinn, Harry and Meghan have a dynamic similar to that of Queen Elizabeth's uncle, King Edward VII, and his wife, Wallace Simpson. Mrs. Simpson was a strong, dominant woman who gave Edward VII everything his mother hadn't given him. He was vulnerable, just as Harry is vulnerable. If a man who is not very decisive meets a very decisive woman, on the other way around, they often get on very well because one makes the decision and the other one goes along with it. Quinn added, Meghan and Harry work because Harry is quite a vulnerable person who only lived in this gilded cage. He's not very worldly. Meghan makes things happen. Meghan makes the decisions. Let me know what you thought of today's content. Please like, comment and subscribe for more. And until tomorrow, goodbye for now.